Hi everybody, my name is Miss Laura. I'm from the Lake Villa District Library and welcome to another family story time. I'm so glad you chose to join me today. We're gonna sing some songs and read some books and even have a family dance party break. But we're gonna start with a song that I start all of my story times with. I know you know it. It's called, These Are My Glasses. Can you show me what your glasses look like? Yeah, you make two circles with your hands like this and put them over your eyes and you say, uh-huh, these are my glasses. This is my book. I put up my glasses and I open up the book and I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and I close up the book. Okay, you ready to sing it with me? Wonderful, here we go. <clears throat> These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Woohoo! Thanks for singing with me. You ready to listen to some stories? Great. Well, our first story is a classic book. I bet some of you have read it before. I bet some of your moms and dads have read it before. And you might see it over here with my special guest right here. Do you see it? This is called Where the Wild Things Are. And I have my own wild thing with me today to read our books. So he's gonna sit here and listen. He's gonna be a good wild thing. And he's just going to sit and listen. Here we go. <clears throat> Let me scooch so you can see it a little bit better. This is called Where the Wild Things Are, Stories and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. <clears throat> All right. Let me find the first page for you. Oh, I'll read this today with permission from HarperCollins. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. You can't see the story. There. <laughs> The knight Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind or another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. I guess you shouldn't yell at your moms, huh? That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. Doesn't look like his bedroom anymore. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars. Can I hear you roar? <gasps> roar! And gnashed their terrible teeth. Let me see your terrible teeth. Arr! And rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still. And tamed them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were terrified and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of the wild things. Oh, and now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. <gasps> there they go, having their wild rumpus. Can you have a wild rumpus? Now they're hanging from trees. What are they doing now? Dancing? Dancing? 
Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being con king of the wild, th where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars, roar, and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. Oh, my pages are sticking together. There we go. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end where the wild things are. Wasn't that fun? And did you spy our wild thing in the story? Maybe go back and l re listen again and see if you can see our wild thing. <laughs> okay, now that we've done our wild thing story, we're gonna do a completely different one. Oh, don't fall over. Stay where you are. He's exhausted from his wild rumpus. Okay, we are going to read this one next. Look at how cozy. This is called Blanket, Journey to Extreme Coziness. So it's a little different than Wild Things. This is written by Lauren Brantz and illustrated by Lauren Brantz, I believe. I'm going to read this today with permission from Little Brown and Company. Okay, hold on. Got to get situated again. Things are just flying all over the place here. All right, blanket. <clears throat> Do you ever get cozy in a blanket like that? I definitely do. Here we go. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was too being warm and cozy in my fuzziest blanket. I call this a blanket cocoon. You might be wondering, what is a blanket cocoon? Well, let me tell you. A cocoon is a protective covering. Some insects make cocoons to have a safe place to become their grown-up selves in. What kind of insect do you know has cocoons? <gasps> Look over there. That caterpillar is about to make a cocoon. Shh, be very quiet. Watch as the caterpillar hangs from that branch. It's making a warm and cozy cocoon. What do you think the caterpillar is doing now? Hello, caterpillar. What's going on in there? I hope everything is okay. <gasps> oh, thank goodness the caterpillar is okay. And now it can fly. Wow, nature is amazing. Hmm, would you like to be inside a blanket cocoon just like me? This way to extreme coziness. What did the caterpillar become? A butterfly. Okay, now we have instructions. To make your very own snuggly, cuddly blanket cocoon, follow these easy steps. Step one, find your most favorite blanket. Step two, lay it out on the floor. Step three, lie down on the very edge of it. Step four, now roll. Congratulations! You are inside a warm and cozy blanket cocoon. Now that you're here, there are a lot of things you can do. You can snuggle and wiggle and feel safe and warm. You can close your eyes. And wow, look at me. I'm soaring through space and running through the rainforest. 
Now I'm inside an igloo covered with snow and under the deep blue sea. And now I'm, I'm, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, what I miss? What have you been doing inside your cocoon? Are you cozy and comfy? Are you wiggly and giggly? Are you snug as a bug? What is going to happen when we leave our blanket cocoon? Not knowing what will happen is kind of scary. Not knowing what will happen is also kind of exciting. I wonder what I'll become. I wonder what you'll become. We could be anything. Let's see. <gasps> I'm a blanket fly, yay! What did you become? A blanket fly too? Or a blanket cat? Or a blanket bunny? Or the best thing of all, the amazing you. The end. Blanket. All right, now that we've done some good listening, I think it's time for a family dance party break. So I'm gonna move the camera back, get myself some room, and I want you guys to gather your family and get yourself some room, because we're gonna dance to a song by Casper Baby Pants called Run Baby Run. It's one of the favorite songs in my household. My daughter really, really likes it. <laughs> so we're gonna run in place, we might jump, we might sway, we're gonna do lots of actions. You'll have to use your listening ears to find out what to do. See you in a second. All right, are you ready to dance with me? Did you give yourself some space? Get your family? All right, we're gonna dance to Run Baby Run by Casper Baby Pants. Here we go. Run Baby Run Run, 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 baby, run, 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 baby, run, 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 baby, run, 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 jump, baby, jump, 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 baby, jump, 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 baby, jump, 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 jump. Jump, baby, jump, 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 jump. Spin, baby, spin, round and round and round. 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 Sing, baby, sing, la, 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 la. 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 Clap, baby, clap. Clap, 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 clap. 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 Dance, baby, dance. Dance, 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 dance. Job. 
And we're back. Wasn't that fun? I told you it was a fun song. Can you see why we like it so much in my house? All right, you ready for our last story? This is a special one because I'm gonna sing it to you. It's also a song. It's by one of my favorite authors, Jane Cabrera. So Jane Cabrera wrote and illustrated this, and this is called, The Bear Went Over the Mountain. You might know that song. So I'm gonna read this today with permission from Holiday House. So let me get situation situated here so you can see the pictures while I sing this book to you. I won't read it, I will sing it. Here we go. <clears throat> The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. But all that he could see, but all that he could see was the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain. Then he got stuck up in a tree. Oh no! The hare hopped over the mountain, the hare hopped over the mountain, the hare hopped over the mountain to see where bear could be, to see where bear could be, to see where bear could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, she helped to set bear free. That was a nice friendly thing to do. <clears throat> The fox danced over the mountain, the fox danced over the mountain, the fox danced over the mountain to see where hair could be, to see where hair could be, to see where hair could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, he made them cups of tea. Oh, it's a little tea party. Oh. The wolf ran over the mountain, the wolf ran over the mountain, the wolf ran over the mountain to see where fox could be, to see where fox could be, to see where fox could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, they splashed around with glee. Look, they went swimming. <clears throat> The owl swooped over the mountain, the owl swooped over the mountain, the owl swooped over the mountain to see where wolf could be, to see where wolf could be, to see where wolf could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, they had a jamboree. Yippee! <laughs> I crept over the mountain, I crept over the mountain, I crept over the mountain to see where they could be, to see where they could be, to see where they could be. On the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, all snuggled up with me. The end. Isn't that fun? Oh, and see, Jane Cabrera has a bunch of other stories here. They're all really good, and they're, most of them are songs that you can sing instead of read. Well, I hope you had a good time listening to Storytime today. We read of all of our books, and we sang all of our songs and danced, but we have time for one more song. It's our last song. It's called Skin of a Rink. So you got to find your elbows. Do you have your elbows? I have two of them. One, two. You ready? Here we go. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marink a dink a dink, skin a marink a do. I love you. Yay! Well, thanks for listening to Storytime today. 
If you're interested in any of my stories or would like to check them out, you can come on in and check them out or go on our website and place them on hold and they can be available for curbside pickup if you're not ready to come into the library yet. If you'd like to know any more about the programs that we're offering here at the library, you can check them out on our events calendar on our website at www.lvdl.org. See you next time.